Improve your rap r- r- rap vocabulary. Mandala. Mandala in Sanskrit literally translates to circle, but is referred to as a spiritual, religious, geometric configuration or maps according to Hindu, Jainism, Buddhism, and Shinto. And in Western cultures, however, is become more of a symbolic or metaphysical representation for the universe and all that is. Which is exactly why I had one tattooed on my back there. Looks more like a drawing though. Um, But again, it's a time microism, microism, I think was the word that I read, of the universe, although it originally meant to represent the wholeness as a model for the like original structure of life itself so it's a cosmic diagram that shows our relation to the infinite ever expanding universe and the world that extends beyond us within our minds within our bodies within our souls and yeah anyway (laughs) so you've got mandala you've got plenty other words with your handler with your ers or your panda and dala anything with your la as well kind of ending like Falala, mandala, you could play around with that plenty of times and there's plenty of words I could go into. But along that note, my tip for today, just to round it up, is to close your eyes and not just look inwards like meditation, but close your eyes and listen to yourself when you're freestyling. Now, this is something that I've started to do as an exercise to try and improve my less tangenty style of rapping. Um, but we're going to give it a go and start off with Mandela. Ooh, and the beat is reloading and that's okay because I'll be floating. Ooh, yeah. Drew it like a mandala. I realized off the handlebars as I threw into the front of a car. A car is a life of itself, and if I'm gonna go far, I need to stop with all this kind of distractions. They reacting and impacting. And then the time I got into a car is how I started in this music and how I that's how my past. I shouldn't be looking back, keep my mind intact, cause the matter of fact, how I ended up here is kinda whack. But seriously, I just started off singing and lyrically I thought that I could rap like I was Eminem Until I got myself my mind and a freaking pen And started to write out my thoughts and it started to help me vent And I realized it solidified just like cement and I loved it I realized that this music is a tool that I could use it over abuse it It's not uh, an addiction like a drug or an alcoholic beverage It's all love, it's a it's kind of emotion that I'm going through it's doing it like exercise too. You don't wanna overdo it, but we love it so much. It's so hard not to pursue it or just do it. Like it's a Nike ticket, you check it off. Like a to-do list, I'm doing it never soft. Going hard since the day I was born. I've been doing this stuff without a yawn because I fresh out of the womb. I walk up in the room, I'm taking you back again. We'll be forward soon, it's okay. Back in the day is when I used to F around with all the plastic toys, eh? But I liked a little microphone when I could hear myself loud and I was in my zone. And I thought that it was cool to be able to crowd sounds and then have people look at you and turn a frown to a smile. You could change the style, you could understand what you could do in a little while. You have the ability to affect someone else. That stuff like talking about mental health, but I stand here with my eyes closed on another road that I've been paving. I'm just Australian. I know that I've been misbehaving lately, but it's okay. I'll be in New Zealand where I get that healing, where I get the feeling of the zen that I have from within. Always looking for a pen. Ting. Every time they know it's just a painting Paint me like one of your French girls With all the colors of the canvas in the world I'll take you back to Vermillion If you want that orange just red Just to take a little healing That's all we need Love and peace <laughs>